So the next phase is Kimanzi will start shooting for himself. Yeah. So, that's yeah. edit and then <laughs> over 26. This is the Bag of Bugs. This is the Crunch Club. Over 26. Welcome back to the Bag of Bugs. The mics are cool. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. <laughs> what up, my name is Chaxi V, mastermind, you are main guy, V Lord Chaxi, the beautiful Mara is around, the amazing Moas is around, the whole gang is around, gang, we're back gang. at Snowball, episode 51, we're Mark Chuck! <laughs> <laughs> and, and it goes without saying, the king of content is the here. Content. Hello. This Wait. guy looks fly. Has some of the best content online. Has Gets some mad of the best. pussy, bro. <laughs> like Kimanzi. Like, I was not expecting that. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's we chat him on the street. He's in person that's 10k all of us. Uh, <laughs> for lunch. That does not come in. What? Yeah. Just before Kimanzi gives us, because uh, Kimanzi said he wants to discuss vaginas yeah. and whatever. Just before you get into that, I have two announcements to make. As a doctor. <laughs> OBGYN. <laughs> So our live show is coming up March 12th. Um, yes. All details locked down. Um, wait, this is coming out Wednesday, right? So yeah. probably uh, posters will be out by the time you see this, but we're going to be at the Beer District 12th. Yep. It's a Sunday in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. Get our tickets in advance. 800 Bob. Uh, mic check. Podcast.hustlesasa.shop Or you can check link in the description yep. or our social media. Um, excited for that. Me too. Definitely. I can't wait. Same. Scared. Then, scared. Would, would, would but post, excited. Will you post us on your social so we, we get we sell tickets? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. no. How many how many women are you bringing? First of all, <laughs> first of all, can I just deal with the fact that I love that these things are actually come into life yes. yeah. live shows. It's yeah. so in, interesting to see such a space that is growing and growing rapidly in the city. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank yeah. you, bro. And we have a lot of surprises that day. We we have a live performance from an artist, we have a surprise guest. And a bunch of other cool things. Yep. Yeah. So Mas- follow us. And, 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 and the kissing will also surprise us. Mas- <laughs> Mas- <laughs> He'll get Mas- late. But, <laughs> you know, the live show. Us. <laughs> 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 oh, no, yes, I'm a live show. You can see that. Let's go park my car in the parking lot. Time for the show. Then one last announcement. I want to shout out our new members. Shout out to our new members. Shout out to our new members. Shout out to our new Shout out to our new members. So we announced that we have membership now. You can support this show. There's four different tiers on YouTube or Patreon. Uh, there, there's at Malawa on YouTube. Shout out to you. Then there is uh, Felix. I have a strong feeling Felix is Felix Fela. Wetu. Fela. Yeah, Fela. so he joined on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah, I've, I've not seen you on membership hey, yet. Hey, uh, uh, she can see Not ah, I wish. You can't be late and <laughs> still use your phone on the show. <laughs> I know. So shout out to wow. our new members. <laughs> if you're wondering how you can join membership, uh, yeah. there's a join button if you click on our YouTube. And as well as we have links in all our socials. We have a new Telegram channel as well. Yeah. Uh, there's a QR code going around in our socials. Scan it and you'll get exclusives. Uh, you'll get updates. You'll get all that. Yeah. Like now the guys on that Telegram channel know, already know. What's okay. going on? Even I was doing the bit yesterday, so yeah. I gave up the guest. But otherwise, they're going to find out. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's uh, yeah, so those are all the anu- announcements I have. So we get into the show? Yes. Yes. So I get a call from Mariah. Mm. Um, I was in the crib because I went to play football on Friday. Turned out I'm super unfit. So my whole body was aching. Turns out. Yeah, my whole body was aching. surprised? <laughs> like, turns out. Man who's never worked out in his life turns out. <laughs> unfit for football session. So surprising. So, so I was home trying to recover. Then Mariah calls me. She's in between almost crying because now AKA was finally getting laid yeah. to rest. Um, and you know, man, he meant a lot to us. So yeah. I was like, let's do a proper tribute, a few minutes. I'm gonna call a few people, a few of our friends who had a close uh, relation with AKA, get that done, and then we get into the Super. show. Super. Yeah. Yep. Do that? Okay. Sour. So, so one, I repeat, Kenan, man. So let's call Shapaman. Let's see. How do you think he's gonna answer? I don't know. I'm gonna say Wagwan. Yo G. Let's see. Yo G. Yo. Yo G. Yo G. Just turn up the volume. Uh, Uncle Shops. I love this guy. Man. Walter Wemba, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Bethel, shout out to you. Shopper, it's four. There's no way Shopper's not up. He had a gig yesterday. He probably I know. could That's something like it's 4 p.m., bro. Yeah. So I mean, I'm cut to 22. Damn. He probably you know, could be a so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if Shopper doesn't pick his file, let's see. All right. So we call Shopper. 
Yeah. Bro, it's crazy. Then, we called Jimani. Jimani has had a bunch of times. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Do you think G will plug their lives <laughs> <laughs> on our own? So uh, Shopperman didn't pick. Shopperman is clearly sleeping. Let's do Aniko, then we do Jumani. Aniko. By the time the show is out. Nice one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. But Shopper is because Shopper is supposed to, be, to come on one of the episodes. Yay. Yeah. Yes, so, so, yeah, so That's gonna be fun. That's gonna yeah, be fun. Yay. Let's call Aniko. My darling. Hello, Chachi. Hey, hey, hi. How are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Is this a good time? Do you have a minute? <laughs> yes, yes, I have. Actually, I'm working. Ah, perfect. So you're live on the podcast. <laughs> Am I? Yes, you are. <laughs> Mara is here. Hi, Hi, guys. How, you're well? I'm well. How are you guys? I see you're also working at this time. Yo, yes. you're working, man. Yo, are you coming for a live show, March 12th? Yes, please. I would love, love to come. I'm going to come. I'm around. Yes, I definitely. Will... So pull up, pull up. So quick one. Pull up. Mm-hmm. We are doing like um a little tribute to AKA. I know you worked with him a bunch of times. Um, I've I've been seeing your socials and you know you are also hit hard. So we just wanted to get a few friends who've yeah. known him in person. I've worked with him to just say one or two words and then okay. we wrap it. Yeah. Oh my God. Where do I even start? Where do I start? Where do I start? Tell me, Chucky. <laughs> uh, whichever way, like, there's really no formula. Um, no, like it can, could be. It you could can be... start with personal, how it yeah. was interacting with him. With him. Then you can say business wise. Yeah. And yeah, just a, a few nice words about him. Then. Okay. Yeah. So, so I, I wrote a small tribute for him last night mm-hmm. because I've been thinking since, since that happened. You know, I've been thinking what to say, just trying to craft the words together, just trying to to think like who could take out AKA like it's like someone without a conscience and someone who doesn't care for the culture or for the artist or for the art. And I'm just like, even if someone sent you, you could have just thought about who you're actually taking out. So it's been really, um, it's been really deep and heartful. And I, I think I feel the the pain and, and the void left in the industry more than anything. It's not because I knew him only or I worked with him, but there's just not any other artist and a hip hop artist like AKA particularly. I feel like all the other hip hop artists, you know, all the other artists who people say in this country, this is a hip hop artist, all of them are very hip hop. Yeah. But I feel like AKA was more than just hip hop, even mm-hmm. though he was a hip hop artist. You know, he's a dope ass um, record producer. He also sings and raps and mm-hmm. just had a way of making the hit songs or making hip um, hip hop music actually pop. Yeah. And when I was um, watching documentaries and stuff about him, you know, I even his memorial, I saw a lot of people from the SA industry say that he actually commercialized hip hop in South Africa. And I feel like not just in South Africa, they will speak from um, their country perspective, but I feel like um, the entire Africa. And I think f- for me, like my experience working with him was that he was very different. He was very particular. He didn't do anything just for the sake of doing. He didn't follow any rules. He followed his own rules. Mm. At the time when I I met and worked with him at Cook Studio, at that time, there was a narrative like, oh, he's so difficult. He's such a superstar. What's wrong with him? But for me, I never want to judge, you know, whatever artist, whatever the artist is telling me, like, this is how I run my brand or this is how I want to do my things. For me, I model my work towards the way the artist wants it to be done because at the end of the day, my job is to make sure the artist is comfortable and able to, you know, do an interview or uh, plug the client, in this case, Folk Studio. So for instance, all the artists would come, would have a whole week and do media tours, media runs. You know, I I would just come and brief them and say, this is your schedule. This is what we're going to do. But he would just be like, nah, I'm not doing that. Yeah. And you're like, why? He's like, I'm just not doing it. You know, I don't see the value <laughs> um, for, to do it. And he just tell you that straight up to your mm. face. And he, he would be like, explain to me 
how does that value me? And especially, how am I going for an interview at 7 a.m.? I'm sleeping at that time. I'm always in the studio till late. Mm. So he was like, I don't see the value of doing all this press. Uh, Manenos, I'm going to come to the press conference or mm. pick one important interview and I'm going to do it. And um, in retrospect, when I think about that, I really do respect, um, you know, the decisions he made for himself because I feel like it's not just the artist, but just in life, like creatives or just normal people. Like people make us do stuff we don't want to do. And people say it's the rule or everyone is doing it or this what is expected of you. Like we receive contracts saying we're supposed to do number one, two, three. And many times we don't actually push back and say, I'm not comfortable with this. But he was someone who was very vocal. Yeah. And I liked the relationship he had with his manager because it, was, it wasn't it was like, I think usually it's like if an artist says, I'm, I'm not going to do something, you speak to the manager, the manager speaks to them and tells them, wait, you're supposed to do this, we're on contract. But it was never like that. They had um very beautiful uh, brotherhood and friendship and it was very respectful. It almost seemed like at some point, AKA was the boss of his manager and at some time um, the manager was his boss. That's Benza from fifth season. So I, I like to see that. And um, I, I, I love that he stood, you know, for what he thought was worth um, his brand. And I guess that's why he ended up, you know, becoming as impactful as he was, you know. Yeah. So um, I am very honored to, to have met him and ha- been able to work with him. And also we realized, because I was discussing it with my colleague after we saw his memorial, we realized that we only met, a.k.a. the brand, the super mega, mm-hmm. ever met the other dudes that people talked about, like, oh, he was very loving, caring, and all that. Because while he was, a.k.a. the brand, you know, he had this his guard up, you know, he didn't start talking to you, you know, just trying to get to know you or something. He was all about the business, you know, all about the brand, all about what am I supposed to do here? It's past my time. There's a time fans came up to him <laughs> running like 10 fans. and like, oh, my God, okay, we want to take pictures with you. And he stopped them. He said, stop everyone. I'm tired, okay? I'm tired, guys. <laughs> You're going to take one photo and you all share that photo among yourselves. And we were <laughs> I saw it, just me and my colleague, and we were like, wow, like, <laughs> I couldn't understand. You know, it's not like you're mean, but yeah. it's like you just d- decided to give one photo to everyone. Yeah, like you you made the decision for them and explained to them. And so when I think back and, and I look at his brand, I'm like, wow, what a strategy. Like he even knew w- how he wanted his brand to be seen where and, and how. Like he just didn't want to be all over the place. And we are the ones or you are the one in control of your brand like that. Nobody will be in control of your brand more than you. So um, it's fine. Like, I I, I think I, I came to terms with what happened, and I think he was very impactful. And, you know, we're going to miss him. We'll always have the music. We have the new album dropping. Um, I've come to terms, and I, I hope everyone else comes to terms. And I think we can always continue, to, you know, we can choose to continue celebrating him and, you know, playing his music. I don't think it will stop playing. He's he's already in the League of Legends. So um, it was a fun ride and long live Super Mega. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Long live Super yeah. Mega. Yeah. Man, thank you so much for your input because grief is one of the things we struggle mm-hmm. with on the show. We really yeah. don't know how to address this. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for the kind words. We love you so much and we can't wait to see you on 12th. Oh, thank you so much. I can't wait to see you all. And ha- thank you for talking to me and asking me this. It's just part of just... also my way of dealing with this grief and loss. Yeah. Thank you so much, Aniko. Thanks, Aniko. Okay. Have Masha. a good one. Bye. Happy Sunday. Bye. What a kumboka. Wow. So, let's, let's call Jimani. Yeah, that was heavy. That was Man, heavy, bro. Yeah. I'm not prepared for that. <sighs> but Jimani, what do you guys think Jimani is doing? It's a Sunday. <laughs> maybe prepping for prepping a gig. For football, maybe. Oh, football. Yeah, no, yesterday. Game so something. I haven't called Jimani no. in such a long time. His team won yesterday. Is that the Somebody. longest he can get? Man like Jimani. How you doing, brother? I'm good. How are you? I'm very, very well. How's it going? Uh, all good, bro. Do you have a minute? Uh, I have literally 60 seconds because my voice is, is going. So, <laughs> Perfect. so you're okay, live on the podcast. Mariah and Mwas and Kimanzi are here. Hi, G. Okay. We're well, going. Hi. So quick one, man. Um, we were just doing a tribute to AKA, so we're just calling some of the industry guys who've had to work with him in person. Okay. Um, I know you've worked with him a bunch of times. You are one of the guys you who would get exclusives before mm. they drop, you know. 
And okay. we're just wondering if there's anything you want to say about AK. Anything. No, I was. I mean, my only memories of of AK definitely they're all positive. He did a lot of work with us at the station over the last few years. Yeah. Um. Also, very, very serious. Very, very dedicated towards his craft. And um, just to the point where he he wanted things to be to be right. So a lot of people saw that as as maybe he's hard to deal with. But I always saw it as a kind of person who was so um so what's the word so so keen on his craft that he wanted perfection. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes. But definitely a hard worker and definitely a loss to the to the hip-hop scene across Africa. Yeah. Yeah? What do you think, like, because grief is something we really struggle with to address, like, on the show, when something like, aka Ricky, when such things happen, and mm. these are stories that we have, we have to cover in a way, because also these are people who've impacted our lives in different ways. From your own experience, like, how do you, how do you, how do you handle this, like, on a podcast or on a show? Well, for me, I look at grief very differently from, from many people. I look at life as a journey and sometimes the journey goes for years. Sometimes it's a short journey. Yeah. So I don't ever look at, I don't ever focus on the loss. I always focus on the, the life of the person who, who has been there. And because grief, grief, everybody grieves in their own way. So there's no way in which you can say there's a whole same way to deal with grief. Yeah. So I can't I concentrate on celebrating life as opposed to to celebrating death, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Thank you, bro. That's mm. uh that's that's, that's a, really I think nice. that's a really mm. good perspective to look at it because there's an entire body of work and things that exactly. he did when he was alive that he's left with us to carry on with. Exactly, man. Thank you, bro. I'll let you preserve your voice. I know you have to be on air tomorrow. Uh, but no I'll worries. let you guys know that your live show is happening on 11th of March. We have yeah, awesome talk for March. We'll, we'll, we'll pull up. We'll come, we'll come see you guys. No doubt. No doubt. We'll talk. Bless you, bro. Have a good one. Bless, fam. Uh, thank you. Um, no. <sighs> is it, isn't it weird? It's, like, it's not weird, really, but oh. they've said the same thing about AKA. Yeah. Right? Like, because they had an in-person experience with him. It's, yeah. He wasn't like a T an asshole, a G. He was just keen on his work. Yeah. On but you know, people really people it. create an asshole yeah. without interacting with them. Yeah. How many times do you see yeah. people say X and X is difficult an asshole? Difficult to work yeah. with. Not even difficult to work with. Yeah. Like we'd say we've never met. Uh, uh, we've never met I'll him. put yeah. Banabwe. Uh, no, Chaxi out. We've never met Banabwe, the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This guy will say he met him. I don't know if you Let me call Banaboy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust Jackson. Can just pull up with his number here. I don't know. Yeah, okay. You guys know him as Banaboy. It's called Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the thing. So, but you see, like most people yeah. don't. Yeah. We we have we see the narratives yeah. of people. I'd say he's an asshole. You'd say so but yeah. out of what we hear. Then you meet him with that notion of that he's an asshole. Then when you meet him, or even closer home, calligraph. Yeah. Calligraph because of his size Demeanor. and yeah. of course yeah. he has that you know, who is telling us that he's the sweetest motherfucker now you see <laughs> he is, he is. Yeah. let me tell you even the times I've been able to interact with him yeah. you know when he enters a room he enters yeah. with all it's this aura yeah. for sure first he's huge as hell then he comes with an entire team of you know yeah. guys and then the, he always wears black no, that day yeah, he's glasses. Yeah, yeah. Glasses. yeah he's stone yeah. faced I've never seen telegraph mm. smile so when he comes <laughs> He sits on his corner, then you're like, hey, hey that guy knows he's, you know, yeah. he's the G in this room. Yeah, for he's you. a real OG, he doesn't yeah, yeah, yeah. care where you are. Just feel yeah, yeah. intimidated and you're in your own corner. Mm -hmm. Then after a few moments, just comes and just says hi in a very nice, polite way. Yeah. Wow. How you, my G? How you doing, man? You look nice. You look fresh. That's really Brian good. Now. So yeah. you, you see Kalina's yeah, like, image. And then Brian no, is very now. polite. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Omolo. Brian, 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 Brian Robert Omolo. <laughs> very polite. Yeah. That's good. Then he comes, uh, interacts. Because I remember the last time we interacted with him, we were okay, so see, it was me, Sarah Hassan, mm. Mutinda, hey. and... Uh, Gosh, I forget the other one. Hey, sh that, that I mean, there's all that one. There's all those people. Wait, then and, there's and, and, <laughs> <laughs> and, and Esther Kazungu. So, yeah, yeah. we were seated four of us. We're interacting. Then he comes. Yeah. Says hi to me. Like, there's a tech conference. Yeah. Ago, yeah. So, he comes. Says hi politely. Yeah. No, now, when he's coming, you're like, okay. I expect this guy to wear fala talk up. I'm like expecting him to come and just slap all of you and then you're like, Paul, 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 Respect that OG. You're talking up, I respect OG. You're standing in my space. Standing in my space. So all of a sudden, he just comes there like, hey, how are you, my G? You're looking very fresh. You look nice. Are you doing well? Like, he compliments you, like, left, like, wow. Okay. He goes to Sarasa and you know, I'm a big fan. You know, I'm very happy to see you today. Wow. You're like, hey, 
He goes, and it was like, hey, how you darling? You look nice. He goes, I only have them. <laughs> then so, Stone Fest immediately after. Like, I don't get excited. When the stage of all, I'm going to go on. No, no, no. Where's Brian? Where is you? When you interact with that person, yeah. not everyone gets to see yeah. that side of someone except mm. close people. Because you only see the superstar. Because yeah. yeah. you meet him at As, a situation uh, where yes. he wants to be the superstar. Yeah, yeah like now you see for yeah, us. Yeah, because think about it. Even the story Aniko has, has shared with the selfie. Mm. And then maybe the fans will go like, um, see, I'm a photo, um, see, I'm a ring. Yeah. yeah. And then now Aniko's like, he just said, he said he's tired. <laughs> yeah, like, like he's happening about yeah. so... <laughs> So you take one picture, you all share that picture. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 that's really fun. No, that's fun. the thing with <laughs> you. You Oh, man. My sweet Jesus. What's the deal? Ignore. What? Yeah, but that's crazy, bro. It's a big loss, bro. It's just that, okay. So, yeah, then unmute. So this guy dates his car. <laughs> Is he white? Is he white? Yeah. Okay. Scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> what is this? It's not like, lying, is it? Oh, shit. Okay. This is, oh, the audio is distorted. Because he's saying stuff. Ah, damn. I wish you could hear. Why is he is making it, out with the bumper? <laughs> <laughs> He's kissing. I mean, do you ah, love your is... car? Me, I love my car. Do you love your car? <laughs> I love my car. Pull up to the bumper. Just, 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 uh, ah, check it out. pull up to the bumper, yeah. literally. Have pull up to the bumper. What's up? With... <laughs> Remember, there was, there was a now babe was dating a fence. Yeah. Not a. F- it, there was yeah, a, 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 weird, a weird thing. Yeah. Just, and then know. another one is dating the car. Then there's there's someone who was dating air. Yeah. Ah. But you know the, the weird thing is because he's okay. an interview. If you are dating air, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> How are you dating air? Which, you which specific one? <laughs> There's air all, all over the, everywhere you go. Four gases. Need to, yeah. Like, what? Um, what are no. the four gases in air? What's your um, oxygen. So, no, the video nitrogen, is super clear because I've had it. Carbon the dioxide. Yeah, because uh-huh. yeah, he's speaking now. This is, wait, oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, hydrogen. In that gases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, wow, he describes how we met the car. <laughs> Max. <laughs> Was it on, on Gigi? <laughs> oh, you like, can imagine in Kenya. Kabaza.co.k. <laughs> <laughs> I met it in a traffic jam. Uru Highway. Oh my God. And it's fine. If it doesn't knock, it's fine, yeah. It's a white person it's in glasses. It's just going to sound weird. For... But I mean, yeah. you know, that, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. 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 So he describes it's... how he met the car. Uh, <laughs> he met the car like in a yard somewhere because it's a second hand car. Uh-huh. And he was just super impressed by what it looked like. <laughs> so he bought it. <laughs> and, he, no, nothing... and he kisses the car. He makes out with On the, the car. bumper. He makes okay, out with the car. Okay, since he makes out with it, like, yeah. what does it lead to? <laughs> it, it gives him a kick, bro. He's exhaust. wiping. Nigga, <laughs> not. You know, it has an exhaust pipe. <laughs> You know, oh there, are, there, there are several <laughs> ways you can interact with it. He, 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 he bangs the door. <laughs> it like, bangs the door. I'm always happy when I'm inside her. <laughs> she she drives yeah, me crazy. Yeah. Sometimes on the coolant, you know. The... <laughs> deep stick. Wow. Deep stick in the wow. oil. Wow. Uh, checking the oil levels. Wow. <laughs> Lubricate it. Wow. Uh, Oh, wow, oh my wow, God! Wow. <laughs> but, but anyway, so that is not working. It's fine. So now that Kimanzi is here, right? Mm-hmm. So our checkpoint today, yeah, uh, we're going to discuss content. Mm-hmm. So okay. funny thing, cool story, right? Mm-hmm. So um, when when I, I started speaking to Kimanzi about being on the show first, mm-hmm. uh, but then it didn't work out because I think Kimanzi was transitioning between employment and mm-hmm. going full time content. Mm-hmm. Then I think yeah. there's a bunch of ads you're shooting, so you are traveling all over. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then we we even recorded like an episode on two Zoom. episodes, yeah. I think one, two, 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 two. Yeah. Two. Okay. Remember still... one, yeah. he was home. Then the other one, he was in a hotel room. It was two. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So two in episodes, which are somewhere on private, <laughs> 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 somewhere. <laughs> so to see, um, to see now you finally leaving, like, um, you know, leaving your job and yeah. fully. Uh, taking over content and how far you've come, bro. I think we'd like to applaud you for that. Honestly, yeah. 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 You, you are inspiring. We, we, we don't have physical yeah. flowers, but let's turn into a flower. Send emoji. <laughs> Send emoji to us. <laughs> and that's the thing, the content. Because at the beginning, I'm like, you put out content, and I'm like, this is so dope. Mm. I'm like, so what is going to do next? Yeah. Then the, yeah. the next, the next piece he drops. He blows your mind even. You're like, what the fuck? Okay, what's <laughs> next? <laughs> it drops. At some point now, you're like, fine, fine, it's Kimanzi. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's a day, there's a day you're recording Apachini. Um, yeah, with the piano, yeah, yeah. The, the cocard with Mutoria. Yes. And the whole day, we spent the whole day together, but I didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was just walking down, I'm just seeing there's some Coke bottles, there's some music, and then I saw the final piece of work. The then I was like, what yes. the heck? 
Because yeah. I, I had to learn the piano, that yeah. tune specifically. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you played it? Wait, yeah. I like, thought Mutora played it, then you just dubbed it. No, 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 the recordings of him teaching me the entire... That's why you spent a whole day. Oh, wow. Because yeah. you were a slow learner, Kimanzi. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way Kimanzi is a slow learner. Now your content. How do you do? How do so you, you have to learn the... to play the, the thing. Yeah, I like, I usually like, what is it called? I like whatever I'm doing. Yeah. I like being fully masked. So mm. I don't want just, I mean, the angle where the piano is playing, yeah. I can just put my hands like this. Mm. Yeah. But I also want to learn a skill even as I yeah. do something. Okay. I'm playing a guitar. Mm-hmm. I don't need to learn the entire... Yeah, or everything. Mm-hmm. True. But, but for that moment, it's needed. For that song. moment and those few, that piece, mm-hmm. yeah. I want to be fully submerged in it to learn everything that is required. If it's doing a horse, mm-hmm. I want to ride a horse properly. Mm-hmm. If it's doing a stunt, you know, just yeah. get everything. Can imagine. Damn. Then based on all I've seen you do, those are a lot of a skills. Lot of Can you Even imagine? Say not necessarily knowing how to do the whole thing. But yeah. Just getting an idea of doing exactly what you need. Yeah, like even the last one, uh, the last one I posted, Present one, I had to learn how to play the baton for the orchestra. What? Oh. Yeah. Oh, so, the thing, the... Yeah, it has a pattern. You have to draw a oh. triangle. Me, me was just thinking you're just doing this. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. no. Now you what? see, when you see it uh-huh. without knowing music and yeah. how deep it is, uh-huh. you don't know what's done. So yeah. I asked Al, uh-huh. okay, for me to do the... Because you people follow whatever the yeah. conductor is doing. Yeah. It's called mm-hmm. a conductor. Yeah. So when I follow, it tells me, yeah, you just need to draw a triangle and then you do the one, two, three, four. Okay. And now create a rhythm out of it. Wow. So it's, it's only a triangle. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you see such things. Wow. Yeah. Like, I, I, it's just a short time to record. Yeah. But at least you learn, you live with something okay. Okay. out of it. I had what I wanted, but now working mm-hmm. with also people who are experts in what they are, I want to learn something off it. Yeah. So now you see next time I watch an orchestra or attend, yeah. I have a you rough have idea of yeah. something is happening. Yeah. Now you see you put that in everything you do. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. Do you, uh, honestly, so I'll give you props for con- that one. it's a conversation <laughs> starter. Yeah. You're on a date yeah. and you're like, hey, he did a rectangle. So <laughs> that's supposed to be a triangle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, chords are not right. <laughs> the chords are not right. <laughs> Dude, how many clothes do you own, bro? Like, do you get us? Do you some of some of the outfits are from on, like on, Like, are they just for styling, and then the stylist goes back with them, or you you have to? You yeah, buy recently own? yes, but mm-hmm. for a long time I use like like I have a full room with outfits. So full basic. Of, so yeah. your so your clothes live with you. <laughs> I did. Are you like the guy with the cap? Do, 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 do you not just make out with your clothes? <laughs> <laughs> At least we, you know, skin to skin. <laughs> <laughs> Getting inside them. Yeah, yeah. Like everything. <laughs> They're everywhere. Things My crotch, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so I'd like to, no, I'm going to get into some of the brands you've worked mm-hmm. with, right? But then maybe something that I think would be essential, especially for guys who are looking to get into this field, yeah. is how do I approach the money conversation? Yeah. Money conversation. Because I can imagine. Uh, I, I, I know for sure your, your red card has changed since you started, right? Yeah, so my question is, what is the journey of that? Like, how? Do, where, where do I begin the pricing? Um, and how, where, when do I know when I should charge more? Mm. Like, how does the money conversation, how does that conversation go? And especially because this is a new mm. industry. True. Like, content creation is not a thing that has been here. Yeah. Yeah. There's not too many people. It's just the name that's changed from. or that's mm. the name that's been put defined. Yeah. Mm. But I'm like on IG, I'm like, you post all your content on IG and that's True. how you get paid. But it's not always been a thing. Yeah. 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 Currently. Yeah. Currently, yeah. yeah. Uh, what? Money conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nigga, you make a lot of money. Come on. Facts. Who's to be, me? She must to be, me. So, she must be a bank, bro. There's Let's no way she must be a bank. No, no, get your money. No, no, get your money. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good for the podcast so that like yeah. whichever client sees and wants to, like, you know. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> like, I'm correct. Like, I'm not cheap. I'm I'll just yeah. cut this off and send. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, but see, money yeah. conversation is a tricky in any field. Okay, mm-hmm. whether you're a doctor, whether you're a lawyer, engineer, teacher, you say Jesus, one teachers are doing 13k. Yeah, oh, shit, bro, can you imagine? I swear that I'm so sorry. Yeah, you see, yeah. like a money conversation yeah. is tricky in every field. Mm-hmm. The beauty with most of the fields, like from way back, they're defined. Yes, there's a structure. Mm-hmm. There's, there's a structure to yeah. things. So, and I've been in my long or short life of working in different, I've been able to work in corporates, I've been able to work in NGO, I've been able to work in 
UN and all these spaces mm. for me to carry the structures. You see, the same way I learned mm. something out of even interacting and making content with a pianist, with a conductor, mm. orchestra. Mm. It's the same thing I do with every field. I mean, mm. if I'm in an NGO, there's a way they do their stuff. Mm. If I'm in corporate, there's a way they do their stuff. Mm. So when you go picking pieces of everything, you're able to create a structure for yourself, mm. even when you're independent. Mm. Mm. And then in that sense, of course, when you start off, there's a reason you'd ask for certain amounts. There's Give a me date. the reasons, like an example. Was, like when you're starting and you don't know, like what most people who are starting now, yeah. uh, even on interacting even with like corporates or the people who give this works, yeah. most of the time they're bewildered at the fact that one, someone is coming and asking for a high rate mm. with no work to show of it. Mm. Like okay. you see, if Banner Boy today showed up in a concert, you yeah. know mm. this guy yeah, is, doesn't come afford, cheap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Even as a promoter, you know this guy, I'll have to pay, I'll have to meet the cost for True. me to have him here. True. Or even the calligraph, so to so all, all these people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all these people didn't start on a high fee. Yes. Mm -hmm. You just need to build your catalog over time. Because mm -hmm. now you see most of the people complain that, ah, I sent a red card, they didn't get back, or mm -hmm. X and X. But now you see, if there's no proof of work, if you don't have a portfolio, CVs, you know, mm. yeah. in any way you're told your CV, that way people, someone is able to gauge, mm. okay, and even when you go to a new job, you ask for your CV and your last pay slip, mm. so that people know where to start with you. Yeah. If, if, we are, if we are reducing yeah. or if we are adding, mm. the margin is not too crazy. Too crazy. So you see the same way, if you transfer these things into a content space mm -hmm. where there's no structure, you build your structures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I'm starting off, I might not get the value I want, mm -hmm. but I might but you need so much build that something yeah. that gives me that value at mm -hmm. a later date. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now you see when you get to a space where you are creating, like doing proper production, uh -huh. like you see what you're doing, uh -huh. you need to have like, you know, this is, you need to pay producer this, you uh -huh. need to pay editor this, you need uh -huh. to, uh -huh. now you see you have all this. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. what profit will I make? Yeah. There's what I make as that. There's what I need to put for all these people I work with. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then out of it all, what is the profit? Now you see you are able now to calculate okay. all those things. Yeah. So if I so if if Mike Check hired you today, right, mm -hmm. to create content around Mike Check, um, if we, when you send the red card, what what are the different elements that you charge? Because so I know I've seen these guys; they charge yeah. for stories, they charge for posts, yeah. uh, ads. production. I don't know. Like, what, what, what is in, what is in, what is in the Kimanzi's red card? Like yeah. different elements. And also, do you, do you itemize or do you just say X amount? Yeah. Most say, of like, the time, I prefer doing an X amount because mm -hmm. when you start itemizing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. itemizing is good for accountability. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. But now, when you start itemizing in this field where people are still not content with it, mm -hmm. and also want we live in Kenya, where people want. To slash. Yeah, to slash, slash, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So, like, a couple of videography. 20K, you like, no. I'm going to videography. Videography, I'm going to be very relaxed. No, no. Videography, I'm going to be very You don't need 25. Yeah. Yeah. Out. X, and I, you know, yeah. it's always mm -hmm. when you come. Is if you know how much? I bought only gongo. Only buy this or that. Ah, bah, now you know the gongo. We put on as a party at twenty. So you see, you always have those things. Yeah. yeah. But it's like a full package. Mm -hmm. Like for me to work the way I want, mm -hmm. I need X and X in place. Mm -hmm. Leave that to me. You you figure out your. Yeah. You get the work out. Yeah. 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 You expect the content piece. Mm -hmm. For me, in my back end, yeah. let me cater for. Because yeah. you see, even now when you're working in this space, there's a way you want your things to be. Yeah. And there's a way you also create chemistry with whoever you're working with. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to explain to you a, con a concept for two weeks yeah. before we shoot it. I know there are people when you work with, yeah. like... They want to be part of every step of your... Yeah, planning. I like, as a person, mm -hmm. I also like being going step by step with anyone I'm working with from mm -hmm. the onset. Mm -hmm. Until you yeah. conclude something, I don't like plugging in someone when midway. Yeah. When it's too when I know we've done three quarter of stuff, then yeah. then maybe there's things the one changed and mm -hmm. and this is your client. And now yeah. it's too late. I'm yeah, a, not even a client. Even anyway, you just want to have people because even when you're starting with people from the start, yeah. you get to see it's different just ideas. That's yeah. true. Someone will if you're working with more asmas will chip in something that helps in an idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You do something. You, everyone has a part to play. By the time we're coming up with a full piece. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone has had an input in, a, in their own way, in their own expertise, yeah. and that mm -hmm. way, we're able now to have something granular. Yeah. 
Yeah. So so all these different concepts we see, because mm-hmm. you always have a new concept, right? I know you have a lot of background in advertising. Yeah. But then do you have a team around where you brainstorm all these things or is just is this just one a, man show? Uh, yeah. right, for brainstorming <laughs> and coming up with concepts. Yeah. Most of the time it's uh, a team of three. Okay. Mm-hmm. Me, myself, and I. So the next phase is Kimanzi will start shooting for himself. Yeah. So, yeah. that's your editor, then <laughs> you, pay, you pay yourself. You're like, it's yeah. not so you see, yeah, there's team, coming yeah. up with the concepts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's never... Everything goes. Yeah. Whatever okay. concept I think about, I'm like... And actually, most of what comes out is less than what I create. Mm. Because what I think about, yeah. most of them were in a third world country, so... You know, some things are next to impossible. Not impossible. Ah, come to upside, my friend. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, <laughs> not, in, well, not, not impossible. Not impossible. Anyone who can produce it. <laughs> not <laughs> impossible <laughs> in the terms of production. Yeah. yeah. But um, impossible in the terms of getting most of the things. Mm. Okay. Like you see here, there are some things, even props, mm. for me to get. Mm. I've had to ship them. Wow. Okay. Mm. And I remember there's a time you're telling me you are looking for the the hub. Yeah. Yeah. And sounds well, like let me tell like you. 10 million bob. <laughs> I, I was looking at the prices for the hub. I'm like, what? No wonder no one wants to give it out. <laughs> yeah. You've been told there are three hub owners in Kenya. Like, contact <laughs> three. Hey, <laughs> yeah, that time, that was 2020. Mm-hmm. They are like recognized. They are yeah. three or four. Like, they are not more than five. Yeah. And that thing goes for millions of wow. shillings. I didn't even know hubs are that expensive. Yeah. 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 Like, the only three. Then, kidogo, kidogo, unazo kwa mbozdu Hey, let's move to my email. Let's move on get a PA. Like yeah. process your pata iki to, yeah. and then now you see it's big. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So everyone, you have to go where it is. Yeah, you can move it. First, I'm like, that's no problem. By the way, iki to your millions. What? I'm not about to touch it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then kido kido go. No one wants to leave it uh, to a stranger. Yeah. No one wants to. You see, when you're trying to sell, no one would see the bigger picture. Only mm-hmm. you see it. Yeah. yeah. And especially when you're trying to sell to achieve something where yeah. people don't buy into the vision, it's hard for you to sell it yeah. to them when they are already mind locks and yeah. tunnel visions like, hey, yeah. my hub is only it's, yeah, for it's only my mine. son. Yeah. Yeah. And he has to learn it and travel and go play in Europe. Mm. Mm. Snowball, up a business opportunity. Don't decorate it. Buy a hub. Reduce the curtain. Yeah. 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 Snowball in a conga carpet. Come and say it in a conga carpet. Come and say it. Four carpets. Reduce the carpets. So, yeah, you can buy a fucking hub. So, most of the time, getting some things is out of budget. One, when you're looking at the budget one you're working with, it's either you quote unquote make a prop. And now also making props isn't easy. You mm-hmm. either have to do it uh, on edit or you also have to go to a carpenter. We check it. Yeah, if you need props, like specific yeah. things. Yeah. You don't need the whole thing. You don't need the whole thing. You just need like an element of the thing. Okay. <laughs> so you... And also... <laughs> you're shooting with a car like you need a bumper. Come on, come on. You need a bumper. I'm a boot. So yeah, most yeah. of it, you get to have those challenges. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you're like, think of something, you're like, da, 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 eh. You make a ta, what are you doing? Let me now start looking for things closer home, things yeah. I know won't be. Because also you're working with deadlines and yeah. sometimes yeah. clients won't understand yeah. you're, you're trying to achieve something yeah. that it's will proper, be quality and proper. True. That needs a bit of time probably. Yeah, yeah. but now you see because now... I was like, ah, um, say I had your post. Uh, mm-hmm. I look at post 15th, no, only mm. 24th. What? what the hell? Yeah, what <laughs> You're like, this? hey, boss, I can't go with your fika. See, maybe it's not in my control. <laughs> yeah. You know I mean? yeah. yeah. And so, you still use the same tailor. When you're in the same tailor. When you're in the Ah, no, no, no. no my tailors are the same, bro. Yeah, I see that. You might introduce me to a tailor. <laughs> hey, um, say. <laughs> this guy, you know, like the time I was going to say, I'm like, bro. <laughs> I'm like, bro. I'm like, bro. But now, you, you stop getting angry at him. Immediately, you put on the feet. Now, you see, like, for he him. He does such a good work. Yeah. yeah. He does such good I work. Got, That's a problem. Hey. Yeah. You see, the only tailor. He's only my lies. He's not a bad issue. Ah. But I think working. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Working with people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Working with people. Kuna, you're not putting so much expectation mm-hmm. and also always having just an alternative. So what do you just in case. to work with then? <laughs> no, you don't have to work with them. 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 I'm dealing with this tailor next week. I won't forgive you for your plug in me. I'm like, now you see, you took that, you took that plug yeah. and you've 
gone with him now for two years, you know. Yeah. It's yeah. no longer me. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You so see, like mine was the first yeah. one. Same to Akinamoas, who I'm working with, you know, and I'm going to do But... Mimi na dila uno ni zako za airport. Yeah. Mimi hata na dila eh 2 minutes to something. Yeah. But I have been, that confidence. So, so for Mwangizi Rora show in December should order now. Oh yeah. god. So yeah. Anza sasa. Anza sasa leo. Anza sasa leo. I've been with Gadonia. I've been with Gadonia and event she's hosting. Yeah. It's like 5 10 minutes to the start of the event. Yeah, Zero bado kwa ndudi. Na hata ana come to. Wow. Of course we're to disappoint sometimes. So Not always have backup person. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't call it alternatives. Alternatives, yeah. yeah. So question, right? Because mm-hmm. um, when I when I look at say say how YouTube pays, if you look at the revenue, uh, they tell you this is how much brands mm-hmm. are willing to pay within your location mm-hmm. for X amount of views. Yeah. And that's how that that's why people in different countries are paid different amounts that's for right. the same same number of views. Um, you've worked with a few international brands. How different is that bag from Kenyan brands? Like there's no way to kiss my No, 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 imefika ngapi on the 4 wewe mnaza toa leo i'm like you're, you're like just keep the money keep the money the, way the economy is going just keep the money hey, yeah. una pressure <laughs> what are you talking as <laughs> i talk okay alafu na project na kenya you know, the problem <laughs> being be a kenya na utulishi so ya 100 you know there are days you still yep. do with it with 100 shillings yep. yep. true so pale ushajige sabe na so yako yeah. so, so, so then the money checks in like yeah. umefanya yeah. so plus so juni yeah jundo unatumia vile unajua una jua it come e times 100 ndio nimelipwa ah ya juni inflation wakileta 150 ngi kujeke 150 yo 50 ya juni ndio unafanya upuzi na sasa hiyo hiyo unajua at least hapa tuko yeah you're so good mambo iko fit okay yeah but so don't hit by the question yeah the question was how different so i'm good at that please i promise you cuz so cuz you've done netflix which are the international brand of you actually you've done netflix um meta You done meta. meta. How good is meta money? Uh bro. <laughs> meta. meta. <laughs> That's right. <Hey. laughs> no but uh, to be fair, yeah. sometimes uh, you're not so talking meta, with meta Netflix. No, sometimes you're not working with international bar, uh, brands for the bug. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like there are different ways to look at it. Mm-hmm. If I'm just money oriented, mm-hmm. I'll just do it for the bug. True. Yeah. I just want, you know. What I mean, kama ni lipi by the way, stuck yeah. here. Yeah. And you see this with also very many big brands even locally in Kenya. Mm. Like because brands have the name mm. and everything. They have the name, they have I see ati wanakutumia juu ya awareness by the way. Cuz they already have their hata wana competitors. Mm-hmm. So most of them, you know, will come with a lesser fee compared to a brand that is not as big because mm. you know brands that are not as big or are out there marketing hard yeah. and will pay the price for any mm. space yeah. any anywhere sometimes it's beautiful to work with them not only because the bug is good mm-hmm. but to elevate the brands mm. to now they wanted you see when you share a vision of something with a brand mm. it's easy to work with them because now you see there's this brand that wants to move from this space mm-hmm. they don't have this much coverage mm. but if you ever to elevate it and have this people now notice it mm. no matter the number mm. like it's now moved from here to here mm. then when you are working with um big brands you know it's not yeah it's not that you're moving them from where they are yeah. to another place yeah. yeah so it's mostly how will we be able to work together yeah so even now when it comes to the international brands some will pay the bug because of their status mm-hmm. but others also you want to work with them mm-hmm. mostly because you want to also associate yourself with brands that you can be sure. recognized globally mm. okay. see if, for your portfolio as well yeah mm. if if i end up let's say traveling let's say to america europe or anywhere mm. when you mention certain brands if i say netflix or meta But, uh, you see someone yeah. like yeah, you have someone like like cv for sure Red Panda. Bro, like, like there's <laughs> so there's a friend of mine who is uh, part of the guys who are in charge of content for netflix in africa mm. fucking loves kimanzi bro mm. Remember? Yeah. I was like, like this guy. <laughs> yeah. It was nice to see. Yeah. And and because like the thing the Netflix what there's that movie you're promoting. Yeah, Bridgerton. Fucking killed it, bro. Mm. Shout out, man. And now you see again for the 
when I actually got that work, mm. I'd not watched Blue Angel. You hadn't watched it? Yeah, because and then the deadline was in a week's time. Yeah. Of course, now because you of watch it, all of it. I told someone because I got the call midweek. Mm-hmm. And the is, campaign, it like a, is it like a normal call? Like, <laughs> how does that call work? Had, yeah. <laughs> no, that now call was now done by an agency uh, here, here. Okay. Yeah. okay. So okay. when they called the first time, I was like, hey, can I get you a Netflix? Nini? I'm for hey, bro. First of all, mm-hmm. we are doing season two. So we are supposed to work on content for oh. season two. Yeah. First, when I was on season two, I was like, wait. Season one. Yeah, what the heck is this? You haven't checked out yet. First of all, I just say what. And I remember telling that guy. And then, you know, there's this thing when people have belief in you. I remember talking to his uh, good friend and also someone I've worked with for long. He tells me, I'm going to be, hey, bro, Mr. Feature, he show. It's day watch. I actually, it was a Friday. And then he tells me he needs content out on Monday. Damn, that's literally so you have two a weekend, days. maybe. Hey, no, first of all, I was like, Kimanzi had four women it scheduled for the weekend. So I was like, I don't know where these lies are. This, this lies <laughs> if uh, to anyone watching who's close to me, please do not <laughs> send <laughs> chats. <laughs> There's a disclaimer at the beginning of the show. Yeah. Views expressed by yeah. chats are not mine. Yeah. <laughs> so, first yeah. of all, I told them, of course, I need to buy time so that mm. one, watch the show. Front Two, the show, yeah. to be able now to get what I want to achieve out yeah. of this. So yeah. I'm like, hey, you to get props. Mm. Yeah, the props, uh, all these things. Yeah. Yeah. No, funny enough, mm-hmm. I know some things just align. You know, mm. ju- do your things, yeah. things will just happen in the long run. Because yeah. sure. I remember that outfit, I'd seen the, there's a hundred year old house in Nanyoke. Mm-hmm. I'd always wanted to do a shoot there. Mm. Mm. I did, I did that shoot with the Ostefu mm. sometime mm. Early, 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 early in the year, mm. in March, I think. So when I was making the outfit, mm. it was just specifically to go and shoot in that house. Mm. Not because I had a project coming, oh, any, project any other on. thing. Okay. Yeah. I didn't so have a project. For your own project. This is just yeah, to do like your a, own shoot. Yeah, I'd worked with the, the people I work with, uh, Taylor, Nene, Nene, Nishone, Ikito. I'm not doing it because I have... A client, a client. It's a passion yeah. project. Um, yeah. It's a passion project. Yeah. I interviewed, even when I contacted the 100 years, I told them, ah, you guy, yeah, come through. Uh, you'll stay in a space for two days. Mm-hmm. This is what you do. Then I'm like, ah. I, it's aligned. Presenting yeah, do so did you deliver in two days or you ask for more time? No, so now I, when I went, now you see I, uh, the outfit, at least I was like, and I remember the day I posted that video for Nanyuki mm-hmm. is the day they called. Wow. Yeah. And I'm like, God damn it, I'm going to call Kesho. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to call Jana. Jana, Jana. You were there already. I'm going to hashtag. I'm going to call Jana. I'm going to call Jana. I'm going to call Jana. I had everything done. Just... Eh, no, uh, man, yeah. Lenny, Monday, sour. I'm going to produce. Because I'm going to shoot my new kid. Like, is this guy <laughs> flying? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, this guy can turn around in minutes. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, hey, I'm going to change hashtag. See, it's all good. I'm going to call Jana. Okay, fine. Because yeah. also, when I'm working with someone, I like uh, value mm-hmm. for work. If you. I'll, I'll return the same value yeah. you give me, mm-hmm. monetary value. I'll yeah. also return the value you expect of me. Yeah. 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 So I, yes, you end up, but then I'm like, since Nguo, 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 Unaeza Vata, and up here. And then I, when I, so I remember that. Nguo, Unaeza Vata, and I'm Vata, and what you mean? Yeah, yours. But now, Ukshashu, and Shango, you're 100 years old, and you need. You wait once, and now you wait for someone to It's literally a prop. You cannot look in here. No, you're not actually. You know, come on. It's not Nguo, you come on. check now. You're not going to be big. 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 So, most of the time. So what happened? Now you see for that one, at least I had a few things mm. catered for. So when I remember buying time, I told them, okay, I can't do on Monday, but I can do it in the later stages of the week. Mm. But allow me to first watch Bridgerton, mm. understand it. Mm-hmm. So you see, Nakumbuka D and D Friday night. Mm-hmm. Started watching it, season one. Cancelled, cancelled, cancelled all the dates. Send your D and D. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so there I watch it on Friday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Saturday. Yeah, true. Then I watched, I think, on two days because you know you're going back to back, back, to, back, back yeah. to back, yeah. everything. 20 that, episodes. That's such, such a big bag. Bro. Yeah. So when you, you go, dad, you don't want to you like, well, <laughs> dad, I'm working right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, but now, see, see you're working. <laughs> and then I see when you're, watch, when you're watching something yeah. for, not for entertainment, yeah. 
you watch it in a very keen eye. Yeah. You are watching this differently. Okay, mm. this is the wardrobe mostly in this mm. space. This mm. is the lingo that so are you happened. taking notes the at setting. that point? Am I you're just No, the first time I watched mm-hmm. full. Comprehend. Oh, first just, time you watched yeah, it again? Yeah, I started again. Oh. Wow. Now, Fuck to get man. now. Now you see, I remember <laughs> yeah. now season two. Mm-hmm. So I watched season one and two now to get the story and everything, the characters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now when I went now, the at, one at, I... Let me ask, at this point, do you know how much you're getting paid? Yeah. I'll say you're motivated. Hey, I mean the watch. So, 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 you're money back you're back you're not not. so now it's <laughs> the second time. Now you're watching yeah. season two only because now that's what you uh, had to yeah. make sense. So, so how, how much did they pay you for this? Now you see, I can't say summer. that on air. <laughs> Six figures. <laughs> it's the smile for me. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> okay. no. I'm gonna pay a kidogo. So it yeah. depends on what you're doing. What is the most you've been paid for one video? Again, say the same. Ah, okay. Give, <laughs> us, we, we give start, us a rough figure. We start figure, somewhere and yeah. you tell us what to call it. We start somewhere and then you tell us. No, unajua shida hizi vitu unazanga kusema hivi alafu tablets or anyone some mtu ana. Nakumbuka kama ile ya Twitter. Rumi ilitokea wapi? Ama maybe it's a tablet. My friend says this is the clip will promote. So now you see exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find out how Kimanzi makes on our next episode. So like my check this episode is sponsored by KRA. So now na kuna vitu tu you self guard for. I get you, I get you. But you're going to tell us off air. For sure, you have to. You have to. Oh, it, man, cameras, man, boy, off air. Kuna nda off air. Tutazima, tutazika kwa boss. Kuna za niko off air kumbe, kuna ule ya mepegu wa logo. But it's good money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. No, it's something at least you can you can enjoy. Ah, ah, Stop being bored. Sasa, nini? It's good money, yes, of no. Yeah, it's money, you, Kimanzi, you can it's enjoy. It's money, bro. <laughs> it's money, you can enjoy. Kimanzi, let me tell you. It's money, you can enjoy. Mind you, let me tell you. That's the title. It's money, you can enjoy. It's money, you can enjoy. Is it a lot of money? It's money, you can enjoy. So now, if I enjoy it, I mean you're done with the best. So if I had Kimanzi money in Dubai, you know what I'm You know what I'm done with. You have to watch the last six episodes to get that. And, and how Ali Pali Patana <laughs> Madam <laughs> One Invoice. The last one I watched the one with Thema, so... Uh, ah, that was a fun one. Yeah, the last episode was really fun. No, 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 you'll enjoy it. Ah, wait, wait, remind it. me the title. It, this is... <laughs> it's money, money, it's you, money can you can enjoy. enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> it's money you can enjoy. Look, he must do have a question. Yeah, okay. Um, when it comes to copywriting mm. and what's not, mm. so with your content, do you copyright like when you're working for a brand? Sometimes there mm. brands that tell you they want to use your content like on something else other than what you've discussed, like mm. billboards. Nini, how do you go about it? See, for every need, mm-hmm. it's a need to ask basis. So if you want it on a different platform, mm-hmm. you pay for it. Yeah. That's a different conversation. That's an extra bag. But is yeah. it clear on the contract yes. before you start working? Mm. Now you see, so this is not exactly. publishing. Mm. Yeah, so if, mm. it's, uh, if you're doing billboards, if you're doing TBC, if you're mm. doing even digital, that mm. is not my page. Mm. That's a different convo. Can I be a manager? I'm good at managing. I can sure. produce for you. This I can help just money oriented. You don't have any money. Money you can enjoy. <laughs> 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 but taxi, you're so rich. Okay, okay. 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 I'm rich in in in, uh, in wealth. Uh, yeah, no, I'm saying I'm going to make money. I'm not going to make money. Let me tell you, bro. Even I make money. You'll know. Ah. Even be, and, of course, I'll say, but you'll know even before. All the yeah. time. Yeah, you'll know. You'll be paying oh us to hang God. out. Ah, fucking bro. Me, I'll be so paying us. Like, what are you doing for the weekend? <laughs> it, I had this dream, and you can hear how much was it cancelled? <laughs> 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 I just want you to stay in the house. Oh, my <laughs> That's God. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Chucks always just has rich mm. people behavior anyway. <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I have two questions. <laughs> one is serious, one is dumb. So let me start with the serious one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do clients see the final thing beforehand? Um, do you paint them a picture? Ama, do you go do the thing and then show them? No, right? so uh-huh. it depends with the client. The mm-hmm. clients who, like, you've worked for a long time yeah. are comfortable. So you do your thing. Mm-hmm. Even the ones, even the one of sometimes, yeah. you see, they already see what you've done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes when you're trying to explain something, mm-hmm. by word of mouth, it's not like yeah. a full picture. Only you and whoever you're working with, maybe the editor, Understand. have oh, okay. painted, you know exactly what you want. So, yeah. no, 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 Okay. I can't pinpoint all these things together. But the final output. It's like when you do copy. You know, if you explain to a client. Are you coming back to this world? If you if you explain to your client every copy piece before rational, how many times, how many will try and yeah, okay. I'm still in that one. So it depends on how like a picture, like a sketch, alafu. You show them the final thing to boom. 
And also yes. maybe you know, you're saying that depending on how long you've worked with them and how comfortable they are. Like some mm. of them know you'll deliver, so they give you a lot of freedom. Maybe some the, of them want to micromanage. In a way. I have this client who <laughs> we started working in 2021, I think. Till now? Yeah. Still yeah. as a client? Yeah. So, oh, man, this yeah. so money. This, money you can enjoy. <laughs> so you can so enjoy, yeah. most of the time, now we had a meeting now to discuss this year. Mm. So, well, I was like, okay. Price so we are going, going on. Yeah. We are going on for a full year. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, whichever time period it is, yeah. at least we're in this conversation in 2023. Right. Yeah. So this is two years. Oh. On. So at least that's a plus. Oh. But then now in the meeting, when she's talking to now the other people, mm-hmm. she's like laying out what she wants for her campaign oh. going through the year. Oh. Like, these are the pieces you need to oh. work on. Mm-hmm. Okay, this goes for everyone except Kimanzi. I'm like, oh, yo, yo, checky. I'm human too. Ah, mm. nah, nigga. You are human for sure. But... <laughs> no, so the first thing she's like, eh, you know, Kimanzi, you, anytime you send me your work, I have my heart in my hand. I don't know what next. To expect, to expect. Yeah. And I never know what to expect from you. So, but honestly, you know, I, can, I think it's all of us. This is literally the company that pays the most in Kenya <laughs> yeah. for influencing. We know. We know who it is. Come on, man. We know who this is. No, anyway. <laughs> we, we have no clue, by the way. But uh-huh. the when she was like, I don't even know what you do. I, I see your stuff, my heart beats. Because mm. what happens in second two is not what is in second foot. Yeah. Mm. And I'm like... And sometimes you don't see never the punchline. Sometimes you don't know. Yeah, you don't know where it's yeah. going yeah. until... So when like, she's saying fuck? that, I'm like, okay. Then, but now she's saying it at laughing, you know. Mm. And yeah. then she's like, you see, at least no matter how unexpected I might be, I always know the end result is spectacular. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, now you see someone like that mm-hmm. already now knows yeah. where yeah. Chukua Kazi. Yeah. Has, 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 has a client ever tipped you? Like you agreed to X amount oh. and then like, I I wish. Stick to extra. I wish. For real? No, you see. They, they, always, they just clap like this and not like this. <laughs> 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 that was nice, Kimani. <laughs> nice. We'll just get accolades. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Okay. Because, but you see, me, I work for time page. Okay. Mm. So if we agree to this, mm-hmm. I'll work towards this. Yeah. If okay. I get, no, but I think I might be getting quote mm. unquote a tip mm. with one of the clients mm. for some last year work. Mm. Mm. But now That's you see, like a bonus. Yeah. Yeah, it's but like, I don't want I, I don't count my chicks before they hatch because yeah. you become a you only cloud count money. The chicks you... There you've smashed. <laughs> <laughs> Again, these people are so involved. <laughs> <laughs> I, on, I, 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 <laughs> this is I have these discussions off air. Uh, no, it's on okay. air. It's not, Bro, we've done it's this not fun. 51 times. <laughs> yeah. It's not fun when it's <laughs> on air. Yeah. And it's you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Leads me to well, my, my dumb question. Uh, now they're normal, you. Yeah. yeah. When okay. when you're not like banging chicks, how hey, what, again, what, this again what is does very, the day of Kimanzi look this like? This is very. Do you, do you have an alarm? Do you have a schedule? Kimanzi? First of all, can yeah. I even amplify that? So mm. you're not working. Um, you don't have a day job now. Mm. You've already fucked. Then now, what are you doing? Oh Jesus! <laughs> it's it's ten First thirty. You've drank your coffee. You've had your yeah. blowjobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone again listening? These people are just propagating not lies. Once, what do you think? Is, is, is imagine, it the content? Is imagine, it the outfit? Imagine I might be parking? watching. What is it? Uh, my wife or future wife or <laughs> just future someone future might, is fine. might, might be here in the past. present. Yeah. No, no, no. But maybe they were, you know, they know this nice guy and then all of a sudden yeah. they hear taxi and, <laughs> and then I, apparently these are people I've been friends with for years. <laughs> so when they say those There's things, some credibility behind they'll them. be like, like, but the Jackson can't be lying. <laughs> and then PM was like, no, 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 I'm not buying that. It's not a lie. It's, 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 yeah. it's a so, very so bad, what time do you wake it's up? a bad PR to <laughs> sell, by the way. <laughs> I will not go with it. Again, I stand corrected. Yeah. Anything yeah. these people are saying no, is there. Uh, what's your day like? Yeah. Like, What's a typical? A typical. I'm sure, like, no, no, two days are alike, more or less. For sure. I, first, I hate, I hate slow days. When you're used to always, like when you're in agency, you know you're working all the time. Mm. Yeah. Your mind is constantly day, working. Day and night. Mm. So sometimes when you stay two days mm. without doing stuff, you're like, ah, this, this, is it normal? Mm. Mm. Guys, you're describing my first day. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Juice, yeah, let me venture to Tashinda too. Nasai ni sambili, okay, 11. Nini? You're like, so, mm-hmm. one, because when you're always used to constantly working and that's something you've done mm-hmm. over the years, mm-hmm. there's a pattern in your system, mm-hmm. knowing what to do. And then, 
<laughs> I, I hate going to bed doing nothing. Mm. Oh, so, so, you carry, yeah. so you carry someone. Again, this is my hour. That's what I had. Excuse me. Hour Z. I hate going to bed doing nothing. Doing nothing. So you see, you have to do something. Uh, yeah. yeah, so I don't like uh, sleeping and uh, oh. I feel I've achieved nothing. Okay. It doesn't have to be monitored. It doesn't have to be like a tick. Just have to the, do something. Right? Just something <laughs> at least. Go make out with your clothes. Even nothing. You know, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> do nothing, do nothing. Or even just, you know, I'd rather be chafu if you're in the ocean. You feel like you're not chafu if you're in the ocean. You feel like you're not Yeah. Una ja una za kwa sufuria. Mimi kulia kwa sufuria majani Kama food yao baki kidogo. I'm like why would I need a plate? Wow. So you see uh-huh. that's the thing. Uh-huh. Uh, so because I don't like having like boring days or uh-huh. things I'm not doing. Uh-huh. And being a writer I just write most uh-huh. of the time. Uh-huh. The uh, ideas. What do you write? Concepts, text, text to babies. <laughs> concepts. <laughs> Most I can write concepts just for fun, mm-hmm. not necessarily even mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, I also do consulting. So when I have free days, I not even free days. You see, when you're doing consulting, there are days you have to mm-hmm. yeah. be there. So you, those are the days now you just try different things, and mm-hmm. also even when I'm watching stuff, I'm watching stuff to get ideas. Like, ideas. Stuff. Even sometimes you just write. Uh, script a movie script just because wow because i mean i'm sure most of the same yeah. i like that flex like you know it's a hard thing to do and you're saying it just because just because it's like yeah. saying sometimes you have to do a hard transplant just because <laughs> 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 no, but was, yeah, no. like writing a script is just something you do just because yeah. no but you do like, scripts yeah, and you know you is, do, yeah. you can just write sometimes you, hey, to me you can get your notes up zangu na zachanganyika yeah and the, yeah. that's the thing yeah. yeah like even when i'm watching stuff online let's say a challenge a song challenge yeah. um, like the one uh, charisma did juicy mm. uh, people don't you dare him to do yeah. Yeah. yeah most of the time when i see all these things who i can't see it who broke your heart none mm. but i can't see <laughs> how many have you broken <laughs> all of them <laughs> all of them i can't <laughs> yeah. now you say well, i'm not even going to promote it because now <laughs> yeah, those please people don't. Will, those people will be like <laughs> please don't yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. like when i see those challenges and listen to mm. like 10 different uh, uh, rap here rap there yeah I'm like, oh, let me just write. Like, let me just because, write. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me just write a rap one. Let me mm-hmm. just write a, a R&B vibe. Let me mm-hmm. just write a sad song. Yeah. You just write for them for not even to sell anywhere yeah, to be sense. with anyone. Yeah. Just nice. be active in your mind. Yeah, and also it yeah. helps with the mind, man. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. Well, to, because I can't sing, let me just be writing them mm. on my note uh, mm-hmm. just for fun. You share. Because you, you, go to you, you wanted to write music, uh, you like the, the you wrote one of the ads. You can't mention the brand, but yeah. you want to think Benzo. Oh, really Benzo is the chance to do. Yeah, now you see things I've done over time, so mm. I just don't stop doing them. Okay. okay. So even when I listen, <clears throat> I shit to not. I might be watching a music video mm-hmm. on YouTube or even like just listening to lyrics on mm-hmm. whatever yeah. iTunes, and then I'll be like. Ah, Let me just rewrite this song. Mm. Mm, First, why, yeah. I write the you know the lyrics are on iTunes. Yeah. Yeah. Just look at them. Then you just writing them for to see where okay. this mind this mind was at when doing this song. Then you rewrite it. Just mm. the now you see those are things you're just seated in your house. Mm. You are you're just there on internet mm. doing fun. Like those are things you just do for fun. Okay. And also now just keep your mind active. Mm. Mm. Okay, kosa una enda to form. Hello, <laughs> 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 a situation where you've suffered from imposter syndrome like you've created content you look at it and you're thinking mm-hmm. yeah for sure everything you see when you're creating stuff every day no oh. uh, like you see when you're creating stuff that is not even out there it's new to mm. me even to you too. and it's uh, it's will be new to the audience mm. you are creating stuff that one you are not sure about mm. how it will be received mm. you're also not sure if you're doing like this thing like correctly okay But you're like, you know what? Me name to a kind of kind. What's an it? Iki 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 was a poor. I'm happy. Mm. It's simple. I'll learn from it because mm. you can't. Same thing I say. The same models people use in music, in movies. You never know a hit song until you release it. Yeah. 
if we wouldn't know kuna kuna whatever all these songs that hit that's the only song we pick kuna kuna nilikuwa naenda kusema ingine si juu juu lisema juu i was going to pick another but you said we talk about it okay. so, so i have just put it out yeah, so, yeah. Yes. any song yeah. can't be a hit song if yeah. it's not released yeah. Yeah. and even movies and all these blockbuster things mm-hmm. series they only are good ones released mm-hmm. so if i'm going to stay with something in me i don't know how it would be received mm-hmm. if it's good mm-hmm. that's a plus if it's bad that's a lesson mm-hmm. so instead of just always having and letting them because we always have imposter syndrome in many ways different yeah. ways so the best way to go about it for me mm-hmm. i feel like instead of letting it suck me let stuff <laughs> suck me <laughs> drop taste of words <laughs> say and you i saw they consume the white thing instead of hey, sucking hey, me hey, out <laughs> hey hey when were you last sucked hey <laughs> and why today morning hey <laughs> even it that is the leeway way to drag that one no, it depends yeah. oh god no it's okay How let him like let him have fun hey. let him have fun with all it all from the tip hey oh my god shut the fuck up exactly this sounds up yeah it's not letting it suck you up hey it sucks you out Hey, don't let life be through no. to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. Yeah. 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 So yeah. yeah. Just let it. I like how it's become back to like so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just let it pass. Like yeah. let let imposter syndrome not consume you because mm. you never know what you I'm really out. trying to be serious now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, Shut so up, just <laughs> get past it. Yeah. And if it doesn't work let it be a life lesson okay if it works it's also a lesson to you what to do right yeah, what to do wrong. how smart people usually are tunanganga tu kumbavu alafu msana kipatana yeah then but it's done and listen to kimanzi saying don't let it i'm like doing some kimanzi i'm like shut up shut up shut up but listen i think we'll keep this short and sweet then an hour um we had a lot of other things to discuss to bang your beard just you can just bang your beard to zbrush we do it yeah. so mama we can do a minute but we have how many minutes no, we just a minute let's go a minute so, of like every a minute of everything yeah. 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 sawa yani tumeguzi yetu juu imagine you scratch the surface does it feel like it's been an hour no, 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 no we'll do exactly. another episode but you see that, that's the beauty yeah. is bro we we are not, this is this is a marathon we're going to do yeah. so many episodes yeah. by the time we call like fifth time is been on the show <laughs> <laughs> like hey welcome yeah. you know i mean don't talk master my also when you have projects cuz you are homie bro like yeah. when you have projects you want to push and you think there's a platform yeah. that could yeah. work yeah, course, course. Course. yeah you can always pull you. up yeah, yeah for sure yeah. so it's not the end of it mm-hmm. all right so these motherfuckers <laughs> are here bro <laughs> These aliens are here. So the US. <laughs> you know you know you know. Bro, we've been here for an hour. Oh, me too, guys. I was not looking at them, okay. I was like, "Fuck." And then he goes when this is really young. Okay, I'm not far. I know I'm out of this world, but you know. You know the the image we have of you are million in one. I'm I'm galactical, bro. You know the image we have of aliens like with a kind of bubble shape. Yeah. And then big guys. Yeah, and then there's always almost no dick or almost really tiny no, like you can't said no no i never noticed that so <laughs> like, much i had to appear who ever looks at an alien who ever looks at an alien oh. ethics let me go <laughs> down let me look no 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 taxi no, no. <laughs> don't search that on my laptop no 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 over their airspace but they said then mm-hmm. okay so ufo's that's <laughs> first of all more just deal with balloon in china you are china they want to process of a car yeah an identified flying object yeah. but the thing is they said they're not ruling out ex- ex- uh? the possibility of aliens was yeah. uh? was the extension like eh? Ex- extraterrestrial oh, eh, thank oh, you it is yes. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> etc no that et extraterrestrial <laughs> i mean extraterrestrial <laughs> They said they're not ruling it out. Yeah. I, you know, the fact is, hey. someone, who's that Nenika philosopher who said, we might be alone in the universe or we might not be alone and both are equally scary. Bro, there's Fast. no way we are alone. Put it. There's no way we are alone. There's no way we are Put alone. Put it. Mm. You know, I feel like there's another world, like literally like this. Yeah. yeah. Completely. Yeah. Full. Yeah. Even them, they're wondering. Like in another world, there's an like alien Kimanzi seated in the alien mic channel <laughs> the no, alien no, mic channel no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. they are doing things in their own world you know uh, when they start talking like this me i just want them to just but also, come but also remember 
Uh, okay. Remember the in 2021, mm-hmm. the US set up like the Pentagon set up a body. I've forgotten what it's called. Mm-hmm. Just because to study the, the to I mean to take some time and come back with findings about yeah. aliens, yeah. Bro, like genuinely. There's and I'm no sure a lot of stuff alone, is classified. For sure, mm. it's, it's super yeah. classified. But as much as we've seen, okay, this is I like to believe in mm. or some some of some of these conspiracies. Yeah. We've seen a lot of. Um, things about aliens yeah. and just unidentified flying objects that yeah. people don't understand how. Yeah. And also remember, airspaces are protected. Mm. So there's a there's a limit within airspaces, especially a country like the US that is yeah. always killing other countries yeah. and doing all that bullshit. Mm-hmm. They're very aware of their airspace. Yep. So for objects to fly around that they don't even know no, or some, sometimes out of their radar. Yeah. Nigga, we're not alone. Come on. So That's true. Yeah. May hope aliens are hot. <laughs> so to get a chance. Yeah, yeah. So no, you think, clearly Mars has women... failed with humans. Yeah. <laughs> so no, it's like, no, it's, I'm just looking. I'm Let looking me try with something world. different. Yeah. <laughs> Mangi's, like Mangi's dick probably thinks he's dead. What? I promise you. What is the Again. last time you got laid, bro? Wow. Ah, last year, bro. Again. Yeah. <laughs> wow. so, so, here with so Jackson. Jackson. So, so you think aliens are the ones who? <laughs> wow. So you think the aliens are the ones you love sex with? Wow. <laughs> yeah, man. Out of this world, Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> wow. So, so the next <laughs> one. Uh-huh. The next one. Ah, uh, we have to congratulate this. So LV Louboutin yeah. finally appoints Pharrell Williams as the men's creative di- di- director yeah. to replace Virgil. No. That's a very smart yeah. That's a nice one. Senior, such else are you such a have? smart move. They're, they're not going to have Kanye. Death. Now, that's out. <laughs> that's out. So who else are they having? It's just Pharrell. And now it's the beauty. He's the only second black mm. to be. Actually, yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first the one was Vigil. Then now. Oh, then now, Farrell, yeah. That's a big shoes to fill, though. Damn. It is. No, but they're big like shoes to fill, but, but yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's, capable. he's worked with yeah. LV twice. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Before. And he's done so many other fashion brands. Yeah, yeah. Prada, exactly. Star. And he's like, stylish. He's fly. He's all together. He's comfortable. And then those people are so talented. When you think of music, he's there like deep. You think of, you know, fashion. That's a legend, legend. When you think of producing. <laughs> so Farrell didn't uh, tell us where his homies live. He doesn't age. <laughs> One, he doesn't age. Farrell Two, is an alien. He's yeah. been. He's only <laughs> alien with a big dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he shoots. He shoots. Thank you. What? what? This, yeah. Where, when did you see Farrell's dick? Thank you. <laughs> I've never seen it, but I just imagine. <laughs> <laughs> imagine you, you sit down when Kimani is sitting down writing scripts. <laughs> <laughs> imagine his <laughs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when people so like Kimanzi, why, why are you Kimanzi doesn't Jackson? believe why are you Kimanzi are like why am I here <laughs> I could have been having my ninth baby of the this day this guy only thinks of dick <laughs> no bro he's had right an, here you he had an audience he had an audience with the governor of Nairobi and the one question he asked him is are you parking anyway like any questions sir <laughs> but you all asked asking? the governor too a lot of serious questions. I'm like, oh, baby. So that's what you asked. Yeah, that's what you yeah, And then Sakaja says yes. Yeah. <laughs> so Sakaja is fucking clear. That we know. Let's <laughs> stick back to Farrell. So, because because please, Rudy uh, Farrell the and Upper Farrell. <laughs> Above the Toso Farrell. <laughs> the face Valley Farrell. The face, yeah. <laughs> Let's deal with the face. <laughs> it might go to uh, Nippon. So, so yeah. I, was, I was reading about how <laughs> Virgil came up with Off White Axiomati. It's a description of what lies in between black and white. Mm-hmm. And you do want to call it gray. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm mm-hmm. not going to kill you. So, so that, your creative that, mind, that's that's a what, 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 what was the rationale yeah. behind this? Imagine. Yeah. So, These guys don't occupy these spaces at And then he just started mm-hmm. naming things as they are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love adding air quotes. Shoeless. <laughs> to things and then look How at much it. How did did? That was a big great work with with LV, like proper, proper. And now and most of it was conceptual. And his conceptual. presence, like his presence is going to live with us forever. And now you That's see, like, yeah. it's what he it's did, what? like, uh, using LV being yeah. such a, you know, luxury brand, brand sure. and making it merge with hip-hop culture yeah. and hippie. Because now you see most of the time. Remember now, hip-hop was just mostly, like, always he mm. mix LV now. Hip-hop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's no way it was It's like a white, uh, Harvard uh, white guy, yeah. you know, with this school college dropout. Mm. So how do you make this How do you mesh it and homies? make it work? <laughs> and make them like cooler than both Anything these two. Anything else, yeah, yeah, independent. So that's, that's what Vigil was able to yeah. do with LV to a point yeah. that you feel it, it and... It became part of the culture. And yeah. now it went mm. worldwide. Yeah. 
Ha! Okay. So on uh, 14th February, on mm. Valentine's, as Kimanzi was hold, having his fourth date of the day, <laughs> President Before <laughs> I didn't even have a date. These lies keep. <laughs> so as I didn't have a date, you had dates. Yeah. No, 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 no. I was busy on that day. Oh, I was working. Busy, no. Schedule. Working, no. Hard, <laughs> hard work, by you the know. way. Uh-huh. It's, it's not a good day. Yeah. It's a weekday. It's a I hope the end result is always, uh, it's always as good as the content. Hard work. First of all, it's a weekday. I don't. There's no time. Ah, those are the best days. So as, as, as Kimanzi was doing his thing, Joaquin. President Ruto <laughs> was in Nyayo Stadium holding a national prayer event mm. uh, to pray over drought and hunger. Yeah, you know what? Congratulations. You played yourself. <laughs> you played yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you He's know, John and Boy, man, yes, you know and first of all, for that to happen, you see all government employees and uh, cabinet secretaries like a large chunk were mm. in for the prayers. Really? Yeah. Meaning there was no work done by the government yeah. that day. True. Yeah. For, so that There's day, no work done by the government every day, but <laughs> <Yeah>. specifically... <laughs> no, <laughs> <that> day, <laughs> more work much. was not done. <laughs> more work was not <laughs> done. <laughs> Out no, of the days they don't work. Yeah. That one was... The most not worked. <laughs> yeah. But the second, that's actually a very romantic date if you think about it because his wife loves to pray. Why yeah. not give her a grand event? This was her idea. Hey. I feel it was her idea hey. because she's a prayer warrior. Yes. Remember when she used to pray for that blind spot? Yeah, uh, on the road. I'm like, fix the road. Fix the and, and the road. Yeah. She used to pray. Yeah. Accidents still happen. So. And Is then there is a time they said that, oh, but the accidents have reduced. <laughs> and then, all <laughs> out of nowhere, they decided to yeah. put a door carriage yeah. and wahala. Yeah. Oh, God. You know, never like had. Literally. How much but, money do you think was spent on that prayer thing? <laughs> First of all, it's millions, of course. Of course, these people spend yeah. millions. Apo unaanza kuona MC peke ya nakula ngapi. Ninyewe. Meter, uanza kuona security detail. True. All these people. All the fuel. So, you know, if I, if, what I'm going to do, if I ever get a chance to meet the president, mm-hmm. I'm going to carry two books for the president. Mm-hmm. I'm going to carry my book called Sapiens, and I'm going to mm-hmm. carry my book called Homo Deus. Mm-hmm. In summary, in the older days, mm-hmm. people used to die the most from wars, because they used to fight a lot and kingdoms and taking over land. Mm-hmm. Then people used to die a lot from drought because <clears throat> they didn't know how to do, they didn't know how yeah, to plan ahead. And stuff, yeah. Or all, all, the, all the things we have now, we mm-hmm. can... Yeah. They, they didn't have agrarian that. revolution. Ex- yeah. <laughs> then the last thing that guys used to die a lot from was diseases. Because mm-hmm. technology was not as advanced. Modern so the things that would kill people at the time, we found solutions Squeeze for them. Yeah. So now, that's why like ancestors would do all the things they would, they would do, you know, power libation really? and do whatever, pray over rain. Because they didn't have actual solutions. Sacrifice. You know. <laughs> so now, mm-hmm. the president can't take us back to those days. We've done so much progress. Yeah. Let's irrigate a lot of the, the lands mm-hmm. that we can't farm now. Mm-hmm. Let's plan ahead for the rain. Let's have a strain. Yeah. You know, let's 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 finally build all these dams you want to build yeah. across the country. We, we need solutions, bro. We don't need prayers. Yeah. We have Pastangang already playing, <laughs> playing enough for all of us. No, he's playing. But he's also he's playing. playing. He's, playing. <laughs> he's actually for, playing. For all of us. That, that, yeah. that, that guy is a stand-up comedian. Yeah. Don't convince me <laughs> otherwise. Yeah, bro. The time I was saying we will go for us. In his service, you're not allowed to leave. Is it him, Mama Mankush? No, it's <laughs> him. Because yeah. I remember. Kingi and Baka Ishe. Mbaka kwa hapo 10 hours. Mbaka Amalisa. Yeah. That's crazy. That, that's so traumatic because it reminds me of my <laughs> primary school teacher. Even peeing, bro, I have to ask for permission. And there's times it say no. I'm like, bro, I want to pee, bro. It's, the not, fact. it's not something it's I can control. Beyond yeah, I just want to pee, bro. Mm-hmm. So now it's just sad that our government prays over everything. Yeah. Like, can you finally start working and doing things? No, it's fine to pray, but even the Bible says, but faith not, without action is yeah. dead. But you can't but pray and you'll do put the work all these at the same things. Time. Listen, you'll put all these things into. Not into action because you know, they're not putting yeah. in action. Yeah. But remember, over religious people mm. rely a lot on prayer than on work. Yeah. True. So having a government that is overly religious yeah. will mostly it's just. Tra- it's honestly it's tragic. Everything is a prayer. To, oh, okay, yeah. shows the to my yeah. what thing in the <laughs> country. Like, I can fix the system. Bro. Bro. You can imagine <laughs> case example. Yeah. If COVID pandemic hit when he was president. Mm. Yo, March 16th, when there was a lockdown, mm. it would be a prayer day. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pray over this virus. Exactly. Okay. So you see, there are not measures put. <laughs> the problem is maybe, of course, there are, there are people working in the background for all these things. Yeah. Mm. But those are not the people that we see. Mm. We just see 
Unajua imagine kungekuwa national day all government employees coming yeah. to the stage mm. and saying what, what they've they done so what far since yeah, we were given exactly. that position yes. yeah. me as the cabinet secretary accountability before, this yes mm. this is the plan i have for the five year plan and this, this is what i've done, so, what I've done so far this then is what you can I've finish done. with prayer yes. and then exactly you know and hata if you come up with when sakaja post this things is doing mm. on the internet hiyo to clean sewage hizo ame pushiwa mpaka alikuwa anga ignore pia and that's the thing do you have to be pushed you know same unfortunately that's that's the, the cards you are dealt yes. with that's yeah. what we are dealing with but i don't have a problem with the praying just show so they work in the same True. Yeah, just, like, just show it bro hunger is something you can fix bro honestly mm. literally that's something you can fix all this money you keep stealing is money that could uh, could help yep. fix this no the money is using to organize his prayer, prayer events exactly like if we were to see the budget so, no, for it we don't need prayers over hunger yeah Yeah, kill yeah. the home. <laughs> <laughs> we, want, we elected it to work banner. You know what I mean? So this is same with, <laughs> Yeah. Same with Reverend Shem. So Reverend Shem Ngiki embarked on a 237 kilometer walking journey because he had an urgent message to deliver to status Nairobi. You have an urgent message. And so you yes, see Plus, the fact that you walk, yeah, it's not to deliver an urgent message. Well, it's no, urgent <laughs> if we are talking of the 1800s and the history to the Somalia. It's like a message. Understand? Walau alikuwa nakimbia. But you see, it's connected. Chucks has just said we are not in the olden times. Now we have technology. Yeah, bro. It's connected. Chucks has just said we are not in the olden times. Now we have technology. But now you see those two books. Those people. Like in the road to what I saw my Bible. But I'm like, can you imagine? I need, I need, I need to say something urgent to us. Yeah. I could call Mwasa, walking. I could text Mwasa, there's many ways. But I decided, I'll leave That's my house. I don't even drive, yeah. I'll walk to Ruaka. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have an urgent message to Mwasa. I don't live in Ruaka, I live in Loa Roslin. It's <laughs> now Loa Roslin. <laughs> You're going to walk to that area. <laughs> You're going? Yeah. Lakini, what view do you get? <laughs> two, two rivers. <laughs> the big thing na yoni na yoni rooftop yoni kutoka nje oh my god uh, lastly because yes. the can is the card is running out mm-hmm. let's talk music two last things right mm-hmm. one congrats to banaboy rema and times because they're going to headline yeah. the nba all stars half time show happening later today today una jana zile hours are states new year hours before yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but kimanzi will still be busy <laughs> so <Yes>. writing something <laughs> <laughs> Overworking. So I think they're the first African. Mm. Still, I've never seen an African headline, but then the fact that it's them, bro. And it's Afrobeat three. is the biggest music genre And you now. see, uh, uh, that's, I feel, well, those three artists have done good mm. work in the industry. Over the years, bro. Uh, over the years. It's, yeah. it's not, okay, not all of them, Rema, you didn't say over the years, yeah. but what well, has put them in that space, though. what has put them in that space, I feel, other than the work they've done in music, mm. yeah. Okay, still the work they've done, like the collaborations they do with these stars in um, yeah. different spaces. Mm. All, all these people who are doing that thing have all collaborated with uh, international artists, whether a remix. See, mm. tulisha ski original version. Or samples. Mm. But True. sasa wawa meenda waka wakina wawo. They're international. They play at the same level. Yeah. Yeah. They play in the same arenas. They play with the same, they're booked by the same promoters. Promoter. Like, they're already so global. So you see, I feel stars. like those collaborations I've been able to do over the time, mm has been able to attract them to new audiences already afrobeat is popping yeah it's Proper. the biggest genre Please. bro it's, yeah. it's in the world right like, now right yeah. now it's, yeah. it's popping yeah and then now like sasa in a, in a space where afrobeat has been fully welcomed mm. yeah and now you see if you're in the music industry and you are welcomed in states you are you have like a five year still period mm. to work oh yeah bro and and they're, they're gonna get booked for as long as they're still popping mm. even if they're not because the people like the states their legends still live well because they respect that you still yeah. perform ah, uko, yeah. uko arts entertainment is like the, the structure works yeah S- lastly on music mm-hmm. angela by butros <laughs> and and one billion shake it shake it but <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so TikTok starts a billion views on TikTok wow. one million uh, creations 78 million likes wow Damn. that is where Angela stands now you see booty bro booty rose <laughs> no anything of <laughs> booty rose <laughs> <laughs> booty rose <laughs> booty and and, oh and again kimanzi oh, kimanzi yo, yo, this that <laughs> booty runs the world bro if this song hey what i've gathered here these people are projecting their desires yes. 
on to me yes, just yes, to have an outlet that is not them. <laughs> just example, uh, sex here said what he likes <laughs> and what he wants. Let me tell you. He keeps. Why? Well, sure, that's making it in the first cut. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, yo. Why? Forget. Gina Manzi liku in the 90s. Gina mekwapo before the 90s. The name has been there before the 90s. Ni kama unaitwa Chaka Dem na una madem. Sasa una ona. What a waste. What a waste of a name. No, Gina, 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 si mimi nijipea. Sasa naitwa Kimani na Anado. I'm going to a gym now, no, no. I'm a banana now, my god. Who knows? Oh my uh, god. Ah, that was fire. <laughs> ah, nigga. <laughs> ah. Well, uh, there is a proper note to this. I think I that's swear. a nice place to be. Oh, you all fools. Yeah, you all fools. You all fools. <laughs> Thank you for oh, being such a nice spot. Uh, Listen, yeah. man, anytime you want to sing by, you oh, can man. sing by. We have to make part your second residence. Yeah. Only you and Emma Charuta yeah. have residence. Officially. Anytime you want to sing by, Any pull, pull up. up. Anyway, know, anyway remember to get the tickets for March 12th. Yep, and subscribe that. if you haven't. Like, comment, so that our video becomes available to more people. Because that's how yeah. the algorithm works. And lastly, Kimanzi, Maliza. <laughs> Give uh, us a parting shot. No, yeah. no, no, no. Save the parting shot. <laughs> First, save okay. the date. That's the worst. Yes. Parting shorts. Parting shorts. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, see, yeah. see parting legs. Yeah. <laughs> I, was was just, I was just confirming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Isaiah for one. Mm. <laughs> Are we actually doing this? <laughs> Go Google. Okay. Isaiah for one. Do Google it right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isaiah for one. Ukosho <laughs> 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 kutaka King Solomon for one. <laughs> songs Isaiah of songs. For songs of, That's oh, it's called Songs of Songs. Sawa. You find out. That's a nice way to leave it. We are Max Check, episode 51. Uh, <laughs> in that Over 26. <laughs> this is the bag of a This is the Crunch Club. Over 26. 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 Over 26.